need something? All right, everyone, another uh, quick video about a, a new mod I'm trying out. It's called um, To Have and to Hold Marriage in Skyrim. Now, it's um, more of an expansion or uh, an expanded version of the marriage system that's already in place. Um, this mod opens up a few more NPCs um, for you to marry and uh, also allows you to divorce. So, you know, if you marry some, somebody and then, you know, you find someone hotter, yes. <laughs> you can always ditch them for that person. Um, so we'll just show you, you a mean? few of the NPCs um, that are now available uh, for you to marry in the game. It starts off the same way. You come to Riften and uh, Temple of Mara and you speak to this dude something? here, Marmel, buy uh, your amulet of Mara, equip it, and we'll go through here. The Emperor of Skyrim. The dark times, my friend. Now, something that's uh, also interesting about this mod is that um, it's somewhat uh, dynamic in that, depending on which factions, uh, factions you've joined, um, you'll have uh, different groups of people um, at your wedding ceremony, and also the decor for your wedding ceremony will be different. Um, so, for example, if you're a member of the Thieves' Guild, um, you'll have uh, some thieves as guards at your wedding, um, if you've completed the Companion's Quest, then you'll have a set of thrones in this uh, sort of Companion-esque decorations uh, in the wedding. Um, if you've done the Mage's College, you'll have um, some Mage-like decorations at the wedding. Uh, if you've completed the Bard's College, you'll have Bards there performing, uh, as well as the Cook from the Bard's College will be there, and he'll have a whole spread all set out for you. Hmm? Uh, sorry, my mind is on my experiments today. What did you need? Alright, so, sorry there. I thought she was one of the ladies you could hook up with. Um, I think they said that the tavern lady in Falkirk? Is one of them? Let's see. I think it's this redhead. Take a look. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God. Take a seat by the fire and I'll... An amulet of Mara? You're not married? Surprising. Okay, yeah, so she's... Until next time. She's one of the new ones um, that you can hook up with. Um, I believe there's also another innkeeper in Dawnstar. Uh, the innkeeper's daughter that's there. And I think they added in Hyoki from Markarth. When enemies are nearby. Okay. All right, so done with the dragon. I think this is another NPC that they allow you to hook up with now. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm there you go. Like you wasn't spoken for. So I consider her to be the ultimate trophy wife <laughs> in the game. Uh, probably the best looking one in terms of like how they did her face. Anyways, I realize all the bodies are generic, but it looks like they put some effort into her face. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. All right. So that part is done. Now there should be Watch the skies, traveler. Uh, another section here. I think I might actually have to travel to another town first. 
Alright, so once you select your uh, bride or groom to be. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Um, you come back to Riften as per normal, and you speak with Marmal again, and you let him know that, uh, you know, you want to have your wedding. Um, this is also another thing that's part of the dynamic uh, sort of quest uh, that the author of this mod put in. If you actually helped the owners of uh, the two sisters, high elf sisters of uh, Radiant Raiment in Solitude, and uh, completed the quest for them where you uh, wear one of their outfits and speak to Yara Elisif and, you know, ask her opinion on it and all that stuff. Uh, they'll send you this wedding once you've picked your bride-to-be. Uh, they'll send you this um, congratulations letter. Um, essentially what it is is they've sent you a, a custom wedding gown um, for yourself and for your bride or groom-to-be, uh, which you can pick up <clears throat> in the basement of... Um, of the Temple of Mara here, so it actually does become a, a quest here under Miscellaneous. How may I help you, my son? You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. May you return to her benevolence and safety. All right, so there you go. The wedding chest is up here. And it contains a little bit of a dowry, some sandals, a wreath, and a wedding outfit. Now, custom wedding outfit, wedding sandals, wedding wreath. <laughs> we'll get rid of these arrows here too. There we go. Alright, so the wreath is uh, maybe a little too fruity, but uh, the rest of the outfit looks pretty nice, and uh, the outfit that's given to your bride also is uh, basically the female version of this. It's a nice uh, white dress with a red sort of uh, cloak that goes over top of it. Um, so now here we'll just uh, get back up. On your and we'll just fast forward time here a little bit. begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. So there she is in her matching wedding from gown. love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this And as I mentioned there's the um, alone is no life at Mage all. Guild decorations because I did a Mage Guild quest. Loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls. And uh, leaning up against the wall there is a thief, because I'm part of the Thief's Guild as well. And in the next, in prosperity and poverty, and in joy and hope. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now 
and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. And this mod also actually fixes the bug where uh, your bride or groom-to-be would start walking out the door before Marmal even finishes his, uh, his little uh, sermon here. So, now you have um, the Bard's College I mentioned earlier. She's sitting there playing. She'll actually sing some songs as well. Um, you know, Marmal's enjoying the booze there. He's, he's getting down. <laughs> Everyone else is partying. So it's actually uh, it's actually a nice little mod. It makes it feel more like a wedding. Uh, so again, for those of you that are really into the role-playing aspect of the game, then definitely pick this up. Uh, it's called Marriage uh, to Have and Hold, I believe, or To Have and to Hold, Marriage in Skyrim. Again, available on the Steam Workshop, and I believe on the Nexus as well. Um, as per vanilla, you come in and you speak to her Mary. and you let her know exactly uh, where you want to live. Won't we? You can always stay with me. So, uh... Our new home. I'll see you there. Alright. Yeah, and if I had done the companions, then there would be a, a set of thrones here instead of um, this flower planter. And uh, she would have walked down and sat down on the throne, and we would have enjoyed a little bit more performances here from everybody. Um, some more bards would have shown up. So it's actually a, a quite a good little mod. Um, there's a little bit more to it as well. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just pause it here real quick and I'll go to the house that I mentioned in, uh, in Windhelm and I'll show you the little extras that the uh, author has put in for this mod. Alright, so here we are, uh, happy newlywed house, couple has arrived at the if new home. Mind, I'm going to start um, store. Unfortunately there's still no honeymoon scene <laughs> in this mod, but you know, I guess they gotta keep it, you know, PG. <laughs> Maybe someone will make it eventually. So, um, I don't know if it was this way in the base game or not, um, but she'll actually interact with a lot of things in the house now. She'll get up, move around, sit down, she'll use the alchemy workstation, the enchanter, she'll use the cooking pot. Uh, if you have books in your bookshelf, um, she'll actually go to the bookshelf and she'll actually start reading books. Um, so she's a lot more interactive with the environment um, than she was in, in the base game. Uh, so this mod does give a, a couple cool things. Um, Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. As usual, uh, she opens up a store just like all your significant others do. Um, I believe she now can cook two meals a day uh, versus just the one uh, from the normal game. Uh, something new is this. Let's talk about your outfit. Um, so if you don't want her to stay in the wedding clothes, you can tell her, you know, change into your daytime clothes and, and presto, she changes right away. Um, yes, my love. What do you uh, nighttime clothes is more the, uh, the, the, the barmaid outfit that she had when you first met her. Um, and, uh, let's see, fine clothes is more like the, like a Jarl's sort of fine clothes like that. There you go. Uh, another cool thing is that you can actually get her to go into some light armor, heavy armor, or cloth armor. And uh, the reasoning behind that is that this is a new feature that was put in as well with this patch is that you can actually get her to follow you around. So, you know, if you want to go on some adventures with your uh, with your wife or your husband and uh, kick some ass. You can bring them along for the ride, uh, tell them what type of armor to hop into, and uh, off you go. Husband and wife uh, kicking ass and uh, taking names. Yeah. 
So that's about it for this mod. Uh, there's not too much else to it, um, other than Hello, uh, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. Other than that, you can get a divorce now. I've already divorced somebody else previously in order to sort of walk through this mod, so maybe that's why I don't have the option anymore. So perhaps it only lets you get divorced once. Um, I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, there you go. That's the mod. Um, hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Again, it's on the uh, Steam Workshop. Or I believe it's also on the Nexus. It's called uh, To Have and to Hold Marriage in Skyrim. Peace.